Well, welcome back to the garage, everyone. We have a 2000 Mercedes-Benz E320 uh, low oil pressure sensor right here on the bench. This is the old one that I removed from my car because I discovered a leak. Uh, it took me quite some time to discover the leak. I thought it was coming from my oil pan. And I replaced the, or I resealed the oil pan on several occasions. And I also replaced the oil pan because I thought there were, were cracks involved in the oil pan, but that simply wasn't the case. Well, the la after I replaced the oil pan the last time, I noticed that the oil leak was still there and I looked around some more. And finally, I looked at this part of the oil sensor which sticks out of the top of the oil uh, the oil sump okay now the rest of this stuff in here is up inside the engine okay so this bolts inside the engine up in this oil sump and <clears throat> there if you take this cap off there's a, uh, a sensor in there a pressure a pressure sensor okay and the signals from this guy go through this tube here is not really a tube it just contains wires but apparently oil gets in there some kind of way you'll note that or, oh one of the other things I did was okay well it must be the o-ring this o-ring here on the uh, the oil pressure sensor that's uh, gone bad so I replaced that okay still continued to leak till Finally, I said, you know what the heck with it. I'm just going to change out the entire sensor and see what happens. So now, so I get this thing on the bench uh, recently, and I'm going to try to zoom in here a little bit. Let me try that with my, with my Android phone here. All right, so at the base, you see some oil seepage uh, coming, coming out right there, okay? So that's, it's, it's black in color. The oil's black, the part's black, it's hard to see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe that off real, real quick for you. Okay, so give me a second and I'll wipe that off. All right, now, can you see that crack right there? Let's see, hold up, it's very small. Where's my, here, here we go. Right, right there right there. You can see the oil's trying to seep back out of it now, right? I'll, uh, I'll wipe the oil off again. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Now that's, that's too much. We don't want to do that. Okay. Let's wipe a little more oil off of there. Pardon my big fat fingers. All right. And I think you can see the crack. It's right there. Okay. There you go. So that's where the oil is coming from. So now I, I, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, okay, about oil leaks from an E320 or an E430 uh, engine or E500. I think a lot of people are struggling out there. I think, I think this, this, this sensor here is prone to crack because what you have is this part, like this part right here, this flange sits down inside the engine, right? Like that. And the rest of it pokes up above the oil sump and the wires from the, from the wiring harness uh, uh, connect in right here, right? Okay, so now what you have is this thing sticking up out, and it's just, and if you bump that with anything, okay, that's going to be prone to cracking. Now, a couple of years ago, I replaced a water pump in my car. Now, this is just a theory. I don't know this for a fact, okay? But <clears throat> I think that when, when a, part of replacing the water pump involved me removing the alternator, and the only reason I did that was because part of my alternator uh, bracket was cracked, okay? And I had to uh, repair that. So... And it was on the, the front timing cover. And uh, as opposed to replacing the entire timing cover to which the alternator bolts, I uh, simply fixed the crack with some JB Weld 
and re-tapped the hole and I bolted everything back up and it works. It worked fine. It was a good fix. But I think maybe when I was taking the alternator out, I let the alternator drop down. Okay, the, op the alternator is above this thing. So this thing sticks up and the alternator is just like right above it. I think the alternator dropped down, hit this, and bent it over and cracked it. Because uh, I can't see how just driving the car would cause that to crack. So anyway, that's my theory. I can't prove it. But I'm thinking that maybe somebody else out there has got an oil leak on their Mercedes E320 or 430, and they don't know where in the hell it's coming from. Well, I tell you what, if you've had any kind of maintenance on your car, you might have bumped this just enough to teeter it over a little bit and crack it. And, and anyway, for at least for my, for, my, uh, for my case, that's where my oil leak was. Anyway, I'm all dried up. My oil leak is now fixed in my car, and I'm pretty happy about that. So I just wanted to make a short video and uh, let you guys know. Well, that's it for now. I appreciate uh, your time and uh, your views. Hit the like button, please, and uh, share and uh, spread the word. So thank you very much. Have a good one.